Residents at a downtown West apartment building want the city to take action. Their building is managed by the same company as the Eli Walker Lofts, which News 4 has been investigating for the last year now. Residents tell our Jenna Ray that their health and safety are at risk, and this is a story that you'll see only here on News 4. People don't feel safe here. I don't feel safe here. Unwanted visitors breaking into their living space. And actually I've seen a couple cars that have been broken into and shot at. Car break-ins and more. The flooding and the plumbing and the cockroaches, I mean, that's every day. All of these concerns coming from former and current Art Loft residents. Consequently, a sister property of Eli Walker Lofts, which News 4 has investigated for the last year. It's infuriating because I, I mean, you see that it's a systemic problem in all of their properties and then they're trying to buy more properties and nobody's listening to us do any like we're this is not the way people should be living. Residents let us into the building Sunday where we saw potential mold erosion and what residents say is an outdated, often broken elevator. Fire and rescue always comes here. Uh, last week they came here three or four times because people kept getting stuck in the elevator. This video from October 19th, you can see firefighters working to get a resident out of its freight elevator, which residents say management told them to use while their main elevator was down for weeks. I don't feel safe in it. I got trapped between two floors one time. A secondary elevator that currently has signage telling residents not to use it. And it seems like the people that own the building, they either don't know or they don't care. And it just seems like I'm wasting my money for what reason? There are so many inconveniences that can be avoided here if maintenance and management would just understand that they are problems and take care of them um, appropriately. In the last month, city leaders have taken legal action against Eli Walker. Now, Art Loft residents say they want the same. I want our voices to be heard and I want the whole city to understand that like how these people are treating us is not okay. Um, this is not the downtown experience that I wanted to have when I lived here. In downtown St. Louis, Jenna Ray, News 4. We reached out to STL Citywide, which is the company that manages and owns Art Loss. Right now, we're still waiting to hear back.